Hey, hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Truss, and I'm here with another how-to video for you. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Azure Blueprints, and we're going to show you and walk you through how to set up your first Azure Blueprint. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over here to Blueprints, so I have it already up. If you don't have it, you can just type it in here, and you can just type in Blueprints. So when you get to Blueprints, you have three different options. You have to create a Blueprint, apply to a scope, and then track assignments. What we're going to do is we're going to go to create uh, a blueprint, but you can also come here to blue blueprint definitions and then you can go and click create blueprint. So when you get to, to blueprint, you have choose a blueprint sample. You have an option for that, or you can do a blank blueprint. So if I go to blank blueprint right here, if you notice, it says uh, basic and artifacts says the titles, the tabs, and then you have no information here. Um, but I'm going to come back to blueprints and I'm going to click on create blueprints. So I want to show you exactly what happens when you choose a sample. So I'm going to go with any of these samples. Let's just go with the ISO 12700. And as you notice here, now it says assign policies to address specific ISO 2700 samples, uh, controls, excuse me. So just so you know that that's pretty much how it would come up. So if you have the sample, it's going to kind of give you some predefined information. But for us, we're going to go to create a blueprint. Uh, blueprint and we're going to do blank blueprint and we're going to start with a blank blueprint because that's you know one of the best ways to learn is from scratch so i'm going to go demo and i'm going to type in blueprint and then what i'll type in here is what no not what but what i'm going to type in here is my demo blueprint just so you know if you do any spaces here you're going to get a message so you have to make sure that there's no spaces and then we need to do a definition location so over here in your Azure portal, you might have more than one. I only have one. So you just click on Cloud Scholars and then you click Select. And then over here, I'm going to go to Net Artifacts. So you have four different options that we get to choose for our artifacts. So the artifact types, uh, policy assignment, role assignment, Azure Resource Manager template, and resource group. Um, so if any of you, or this is still a little foreign to you, I do have a video that is a what is Azure Blueprint, and I kind of talk about it. So more in it. So if you want to kind of just go into that, I think that'd probably be a good video for you to watch before watching this one, but you might be able to just catch on straight from what I'm showing you. But anyway, um, you have different options. You have the policy assignment, role assignment, as a resource manager template and resource group. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to resource group and I'm going to create a resource group and I'm going to say demo GP for group. Um, I'll leave resource group set values. This value should be specified when the blueprint is assigned. And right here where it says location, I'm going to say, I'll just do South India. because That's where I want it. And then I'm going to come back here. So it's going to say, okay, this is for South India. This one at the end of um, when we're getting ready to, to push out the blueprint, it's going to ask for a resource group name. So with this one, if you when we go to it, when you see at the end, you'll see that it's automatically going to say South India. So I'm going to click on Add. And then when I come over here, I'm going to say, okay, what do I want to do next? I'm going to do Role Assignment. In Role Assignment, I'm going to say, okay, I want to give the owner role and then add user or group. So it says this value should be specified when their blueprint is assigned. I'm actually just going to throw in a user. And I'll type in Test. It always does that. And I'll just drop back and say add. And then I'll, I'll come up here and I'm going to say policy assignment. And what policy do I want to create? So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to uh, audit VMs that do not use manage disk. And then that's perfectly fine. I can choose more than one option if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. And I'll leave it as that. And then what I'll do is I'll do save as draft. So one of the great things about blueprints is this for compliance, right? So if you if you're gonna set up another subscription, you need to do a, a policy initiative, you may forget when you know going through that whole setup process. From this, you can now do it from a 10,000 foot view and you can say, all right, you know, I have my resource group, I have the owner applied to, assigned to it, but I also have a policy that prevents that specific uh, user, in our case, test user one, from setting up any VMs um, that don't have it managed correctly. So I'm going to click back here to the blueprint definition. And actually, let me come back here and I want to show you where it says latest version. It says draft. 
So there's, there's different stages for blueprints. The first stage is a draft. And then the next stage is what we're going to go do now, which is publish. So we see our blueprint here and we need to publish our blueprint. So right up here, we see the state is draft. And then we're going to come over here and click publish blueprint. And then blueprints are similar to like software packages. Um, you know, a lot of, I mean, Microsoft actually kind of uh, explains it as a software package because uh, you, you, you have a package and you're, you're setting it up. So for deployment. So you have your different versions. So right now we could do 1.1. It's totally up to what you want to put in yours. And then we're actually going to let me zoom out a little bit and I'm going to click on publish. So once that's uh, published, you'll see the state change to publish. So then you have the option here to assign the blueprint. So here, you know, it says Cloud Scholars because that's what we chose, but we could have chosen another one. If, we, if you have another one, you can. Assignment name, you could change the name you want to uh, call it. Uh, location, we're going to go South India. And then you have a manage identity, your system um, assigned. And then over here, remember it was asking us, this has the resource group name. And then we're going to put in our information. Self GRP. And then you come down here and you click assign. Um, so I, I don't really need to get this pushed out for my environment, but this pretty much takes you through the whole thing and then you assign it and then you're all set. So I hope that this video was beneficial. I hope that you got everything that you needed out of it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. Our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you. I'll see you next time.